Good morning and welcome. Happy Friday. I mean, we, thank, thank you. We've made it to Friday. Uh, thank God it's Friday. It's been one heck of a week. Uh, massive shipping day uh, here at the Phoenix office. Uh, Jason, uh, had, I mean, we are stacked appointments so deep uh we got appointments all the way through next week so uh be patient with us uh it was so funny we we uh we have the same driver you know you, you not not so much with ups but fedex uh robert's been the driver for uh, this location i don't even know now like 10 years <laughs> and yesterday <laughs> It was so funny. He, uh, he was here yesterday, and, I mean, we literally had, like, half the truck. He was just like, wow. It was, I've never seen you guys so busy, and that that's and that's absolutely true. Uh, it's just been a madhouse in here. We're probably one of the very, very few places in the country, which is amazing to say, that actually can deliver you Silver can't deliver you silver eagles, can't deliver you silver eagles. But I, I we've got uh, utility silver, you know, junk silver, uh, quarters, dimes. I put the half dollars back up on the website. Half dollar prices are up today. Uh, silver and gold are up today. Kind of we expect you know you we had a more fake. You know, I, I guess the fake spot prices. Uh, are up today. How's that? That's for for uh, all of you out there that uh, you know. If you want to follow uh, make believe, right? If you want to believe in, uh, uh, I don't even want to say things as I, there may be children listening. Uh, but yeah, if you just you know fairy tales and cartoon characters and all these other things, then uh, believe the spot prices that Wall Street's putting out there. They have no no correlation to the physical markets, uh, which is really a shame. I mean, that's what Wall Street's supposed to do. Uh, but but neither here nor there. Uh, we got a great show lined up for you. Uh, the, the government's jobs numbers, we'll go over those. We're also going to talk about what happened in the Senate today. Uh, it's what I knew was going to happen. And it's one of the reasons why uh, immediately after Goldman Sachs and all the other banks now have raised their gold price forecast for the year, uh, they actually raised silver price uh, the other day. Uh, but I'll tell you uh, all about that uh, as well when we get back uh, from the break here. Don't forget uh, your CBD products from 1360KHNC.com and and my kind CBD, they're the best of the best. And uh, I actually am going to be talking uh, to a doctor here in Arizona that treats cancer patients. And, and uh, he's done a lot of research on CBD. And, and, and we gave him a bunch of information uh, about what we're selling. And he, he's, there's nothing better. He wants to get it on his shelf ASAP. Uh, one of the things that, that he said that was kind of interesting is if you're in chemo, you should be taking it. Apparently, it helps. And he's one of these cutting-edge guys. He's a guy, uh, you know, he has a, a several clinics here in town. People come from all, not just in, all over the country, all over the world to see this guy uh, because he, he, he combines uh, modern medicine uh, with the non-conventional medicines because he's just like, hey, I want to take the stuff that works. And, and he's convinced that it does. Uh, and we've got the best price in the country at 1360KHNC.com. I'm a believer now. I didn't believe. But, uh, okay, whatever. You know, and I've tried some CBD before. It was expensive. I didn't know what I was buying. Uh, the guy said, try this. And, and I didn't really think it worked. Of course, I was buying something that was probably synthetic, made in China. Not sure, sure what you're getting. But now... Uh, you know, we had pickleball. Yeah, I dominated. You know what? Here's an update. I dominated on the pickleball court last night. Kicked some major. You know what? I was. I like to. I like it when I. It's not very often that. Happens. I'm like normally our worst player. Yesterday I was the best player, but uh, I owe it all to CBD. Not really. Well, maybe. Uh, but but it really does. It really. You know. 
If you're a lot like me, you're a little older, things just hurt. Things just hurt. You know, my knee, I got a bad knee. Uh, uh, my neck is, you know, the doctors are trying, I need to have surgery on my neck. I've got uh, a nerve problem. I've got arthritis in the C6 and C7. And uh, the CBD has kept me, kept me like, you know what, I can, I can hold it off. I can wait. I'm not in, it, it's fine. It's, it's manageable. Uh, so if, if you haven't tried it out, give it a shot. And, and again, this is something where, listen, this is a hundred dollar product in most places. Uh, if you go to like a CBD store, they probably want 150 bucks for the thousand milligram tincture. Uh, and remember there's no chemicals. Everything's organic. Uh, there's no THC. So you don't have to worry about the marijuana as part, part of it. And, and everything Everything is done here in, in the United States. And actually, all of it's done in Colorado. And it's all CAO certified. If it's on our website, at 1360KHNC.com shop button, that means it's been independently lab tested to, to guarantee you everything that I'm telling you. It's the only reason why uh, the credit card companies charge me significantly less for CBD, they, they normally charge uh, these companies because if you're selling the crappy stuff, uh, they, they want to hit you for 15% credit card fees. And the reason is simple because they're like, yeah, everyone returns it because it doesn't work and this and that. It's not what we have. A totally different, totally different animal. Check it out. It supports the radio station uh, and, and it's a great product to help you uh, with your physical ail ailments. When we get back, I'm going to help you with your financial ailment, ailments. Don't touch that dial. 800 951 Patriot Radio News Hour. Happy Friday to everybody. Uh, all you Seagull, uh, Silver Eagle Order people, hang in there. We got one box this week. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get two boxes next week, but they're coming. Um, just be patient. Uh, again, we're not taking any orders on Silver Eagle's. Uh, my guess is it's just gonna, it's probably going to take the mint the rest of February to even catch up from the Silver Eagles. They owe everybody from January, uh, but uh, we do have utility silver, junk silver, quarters, dimes, and half dollars. Uh, get them while you can. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two jobs today. Uh, government jobs number. This was a January jobs number forty nine thousand. That was how many jobs were created in the month of January. The government went back uh, to December and November. Of course, remember, uh, November was a good one. And then December, remember, we had that negative number. They revised both November and December down uh, pretty significantly, over 100,000 jobs less said January was uh, 49,000. The unemployment rate fell to 6.3%, they said. And I guess, again, very much, you know what that rate is? That's like saying uh, silver's $27. Because the spot silver today is $27. It's not, right? Everyone knows uh, if you're buying physical silver, it's not $27, not even close. Well, that's kind of like the unemployment rate, because remember, after six months, you don't count anymore. Um, the, the fact of the matter is uh, we've got somewhere around 18 million people unemployed, uh, but uh, what happens is you fall off this government program and you land into uh, another government program. But again, listen, they like to make stuff up. So why not? Uh, by the way, uh, Wall Street had been looking for a much higher number. <laughs> Citigroup was expecting 250,000. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, 49,000, so not a great number uh, on the government jobs report. But don't worry, they'll probably make an adjustment next month and add 100,000 to it. It'll be fine. Uh, GameStop and all the other, you know, we talked about these guys yesterday. Remember the big meeting, Janet Yellen got a waiver to say, oh, no, no, you know, it's fine. I can be impartial. And I told you all along, they were just going to go after all the little people out there while telling you that they weren't. Very interesting, though, that the 10 most 
purchase stocks during the mania. Okay. Obviously, uh, and be, by the way, this was last month. So, so during last month, GameStop wasn't even one of them. Just kind of interesting. Uh, AMC was, Tesla, Advanced Micro Devices, obviously Apple, right? Apple's still a big one. Facebook, Microsoft, right? But the prevailing narrative has been out there about Wall it's all Wall Street bets and Reddit. And it's all their fault. If you actually look into who did uh, more buying, uh, believe it or not, it was more of the Wall Street bigwigs than it was uh, the we been now now Reddit and Wall Street bets they bought plenty, but apparently <laughs> uh, Wall Street was right along with them, you know. So just kind of funny. Uh, how all of this plays out. And, and again, they're not mad. They're not mad at these Wall Street companies that made money. They're not being investigated. They were just mad that the us regular folk had taken advantage. And they're going to fix it. Uh, don't you worry. Again, you don't think you need to have gold and silver. You don't think you need to have something that's not in the system. What more proof do you need? How many more times do you need to see this before you pull your head out of your backside? That's all I'm saying. I've told you over and over and over again what the real rules are. You put money in the bank, you don't own it. You don't own that 401k, it's not yours. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Legally, you have lent that money out. Legally. And guess what? Legally, they can stop you from taking it out. Don't believe me? Know anybody that uh, was in Greece? They can tell you. Yup. They wouldn't let me close my bank account. They wouldn't let me take my money out of my bank account. I could only withdraw $20. Don't believe me? They refused to let me sell my stock last week. They refused to let me buy stock last week. How can they do that? Simple. You legally don't own it. Sorry. I know that, but, but you know what's so funny? That makes so many people so upset. I don't know why. It's the law. When you, when you do those things, you're essentially saying, hey, I'm going to loan you this money so you can loan it to somebody else. And believe me, I told you, I educated you all. I told you after the financial crisis, they're never going to bail out Wall Street again, they said. Right, remember? Instead, what they're going to do is, okay, nobody gets to take out any money. <laughs> right. And uh, instead of us bailing them out, while well, you go to the sidelines, uh, you got to stay in. And you get whooped. Believe me, that's, and I know, uh, you. oh, wow, well, he's just trying to scare us. No, it's not scaring anybody. That's the rules. At any point, if they feel there's a threat to the system, they can actually, they got two choices. You could go to the site. Well, and let me tell you what the two choices are. Okay, So here we are. The crash has started. I don't know when. right? None of us do. But it's probably a lot sooner than most of us think. right? And we're watching all this weird stuff happen. Like, like, let's face it. Last week, that was weird. And... and they have two different things they could do. Both of them equally horrible. 
But let me tell you what they are so you know. At any time, if there's a threat to the system, okay, they can impose a penalty for you to go to the sidelines. And this, and this is all accounts, money markets, right? 401ks, uh, your, your E-Trade or Robinhood accounts, your IRA accounts, whatever it may be. Well, okay, I'll let you sell, but it's a 10% penalty. Or at 20%, there, there's no limit to the penalty. They could just import any penalty. That's one thing they could do. I don't know that that one's that likely, but it's there. I mean, that's an option for them. The other option, which I think is more likely, is you can't sell at all. Can't take out your money. You can't go to the sidelines. Right, we already know in the banking industry, can't take your money out of the bank, right? Look at Greece, look at Cyprus, can't take it out. Can't wire it out, can't, I mean, can't close your bank accounts, can't even close them. Limit your ATM withdrawals, of course the ATM's going away. But, but it's important to know it. And I know a lot of people, you know, they still want to doubt. Look, it just happened. They just did it. Now, at that point, it was only, I think, it was, I think all said and done, it was 20 stocks or less, right, that they stopped it. But it just shows you. Stop it all. And they will. It, it's coming. It's going to happen. Why do you think they put the rule in place? <laughs> Right? Because they didn't think it was going to happen. I know. Let's write a rule about something that's not going to happen. No. 800-951-0592. If you've never done business with us, it's easy. I promise you. Uh, we like to say, just call up and say, I want the special. That's all you need to do. The girls will take care of Brittany, Arlene, uh, Brooke, when she's here, my wife. Sarah, the, Jason, and Bernice, and Brian up in Colorado, we got you covered. And I promise, there's not going to be any funny business and bait and switch and, and you know, all the other games that, that these, these dealers play. There's no games here. We want you to buy the cheapest that we can sell it to you. And, and cheap's are relative, right? Everything's, you know, it's expensive. Listen, gold and silver are expensive for a reason. But that you can buy, sell, trade, and do it privately. That's it. That's all. And then look at what happened this morning. The U.S. House of Representatives will take up final approval on, a fr on Friday, that's today, of a budget measure that would let Democrats push President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package through Congress in the coming weeks without any Republican support. The plan vote will come hours after the Senate just happened. This already has happened. Narrowly approved an amended version of the budget plan. At the end of the marathon debate that featured votes on dozen amend dozens of amendments from both parties. In other words, you know, I, I like to call this the pork, right? Or, an, or attempts to block pork. One or the other, right? All of these amendments were either an amendment to try to block a pork project, or an amendment to try to get a pork project, just so you know. At the end of the session, which went on for 15 hours, the Senate found itself in a 50-50 partisan deadlock. 
And I remember we've talked about this. Go back to what before the election. Right? We, we, we had four scenarios. Trump wins. Republicans uh, keep control of the Senate. Right? That was option one. Trump wins. Republicans lose the Senate. Right? Biden wins. Republicans can keep control of the Senate. Biden wins. And the Democrats get control of the Senate. And, of course, the House was always going to be the Democrats. And of those four scenarios, I told you, the best one for gold and silver would be Biden wins, Democrats get the Senate. Because this was going to happen. Right? We talked about Georgia, how important it was. The 50-50 tie. I mean, what are we? We're not even a couple of weeks in. Congress has been back for like not even two weeks, two weeks or so. Kamala Harris came in with the deciding vote to break the tie. There you have it, folks. Get ready. You thought we spent a lot of money before. Wait till you see what they do this time. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back right after the break. 800-951-0592. I'm just reading some of the uh, the things that happened during this session while we were all sleeping last night. The Democrats pretty much spent the whole night rejecting every Republican uh, idea. Matter of fact, they got three things passed last night that the republic or that the democrats were able to come back and get rid of one of them what how about this one one of the things one of the amendments that they wanted on it was hey at least let the let the keystone pipeline live and let these people go back to work because remember through executive order by I think Keystone Pilot, I think it was 11,000 people lost their jobs overnight. Not one Democrat, not one. Because we only needed one to say, you know what, that's a stupid idea. Because right? it's uh, one of the cleanest energy sources around. I mean, you know, it's, it, uh, I guess you could say, well, you know, solar's cleaner, maybe. But, you know, what people don't factor in, too, on all, all of this stuff is, you know, so you need silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium. I mean, you got to go in the ground, dig it all out. It's not like, you know, it's not the panacea that they would lead you to believe, but neither here nor there. Get ready for much higher price. Look, at crude oil is already, what, like 50-something bucks now because they know. And I'm sorry, but we cannot build enough solar panels and wind panels or wind turbines uh, to, to come up with this plan. But they're going to get it through. So that got rejected. That was that actually had passed. And then by the end of the night, they're like, nah, forget it. Uh, they, they wanted to bar coronavirus aid for people in this country illegally. Nope. Republicans uh, lost that battle as well. Uh like I said, Kamala Harris, uh, she did the final measure. Uh, they they are they're they're talking about what comes next, and this is the part that really is uh, should be worrisome because they're talking about more money to states and local governments. Uh, and remember, the Democrats they want another one after this one. And they said, as it wore on, as the senators were becoming exhausted. Uh, spending the night disposing of any and all Republican ideas, such as ending all foreign aid. Per, you know, stuff like, you know, you know this stuff. We've seen it all. The gender whatever acceptance to Pakistan and blah, blah. You know, all this money that, that was for this cause, that cause. That, you know the governments were going to use it for something else. Here's another one that got blocked. Prohibiting Congress from expanding the Supreme Court. Or because this is what the Republicans want to do, or the Democrats want to do. 
They want to add more justices so Biden can get more liberals on the bench. And, and uh, you know, I don't know where we go from here. You know, I said it yesterday or the other day about this meeting that the Republic, the 10 Republicans had with Biden, uh, you know, uh, the fake meeting, if you will. Uh, there is one thing that they did agree with. They did agree that they should not give checks out to everybody. So there you go. So there was the one thing that passed. Uh, but nonetheless, the Democrats, through reconciliation now, uh, have the votes for the $1.9 trillion stimulus. Uh, the bill that they're going to work on next is not another stimulus bill. They want to work on the Green New Deal. And this is where, again, I think you're going to see a lot, a lot of activity in the precious metals market because all this stuff requires it. Solar and wind and all that, <laughs> you got to have it. So uh, a lot of things happened in the last 24 hours uh, to get, you know, not that it matters, but, you know, gold's up 20 now. Uh, back to 1810, silver's up 70, almost 80, what, 75 cents here, right? Just under $27. Uh, so taking back most of the fake losses from yesterday, uh, get ready. These The spot prices are not the physical markets, as, as everybody knows. Uh, right now, here's what I've got. So again, remember, this is how it's going to go now. I did get a really, really good deal this morning on some $10 libs. Okay, these are the the older liberties, 1866 to 1907. Why does it say $10? I get that question for, for new people. You know, we sell like $20, $10, $5. Because that's what used to be what it was worth. So go back. You know, like I said, this was 1866 to 1907. Go back to those years. A $10 bill and a $10 gold piece were worth the same. And this is why, think about it when you got all this cash, you know, and all of it, you know, I'm a big believer in having, you know, I like to have 90 days worth of cash at my house, just in case. I don't know why those, maybe it's just because. I'm a catastrophist, or that's just how I was raised, but I, I, I like to have it, just in case. I don't know. But think about this. This $10 gold piece and a $10 bill were the same. They were worth the same. As a matter of fact, they were worth the same for like 100 years, by the way. Now today, that $10 meal or that $10 bill meal, gets you maybe, if you don't supersize it, uh, the Big Mac meal at McDonald's. I, I don't know. I don't even know the call. I don't even eat Big Macs. But you know what I'm saying. That $10 gold piece, I got it on sale today at 1000 and eighty-five dollars. These all came in from overseas. Uh, they were part of what I, I sold ten-dollar libs earlier this week. It was part of that same deal. Uh, they're finally here. Uh, they they were they they've landed. Uh, the first group of those are here for orders. I have, but I'll have these in 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 stock uh, Wednesday of next week. And really, probably Tuesday, but I'll say Wednesday. Uh, they're a thousand and eighty-five dollars. So you think about all that money sitting in your bank account or sitting in your safe. This is what happens. You know, they want two percent inflation year after year after year. They just want to devalue what it buys. Here's a great example. It's your radio news hour. We'll be back right after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. You know, you can say what you want about Trump. 
I've got good things to say about him, bad things to say about him. Say what you want. He compromised a lot with the Democrats, believe it or not. He really did. And you're telling me last night they didn't throw not one, they didn't give the Republicans one thing, not one. Not one. Th this isn't an administration about bringing us together. It's the exact opposite. And it's just, it's incredible how polarized and how divided we really are. It's embarrassing. It really is shame. Shame on both sides. Shame on both of you. Both sides. But get ready. Get ready. Listen, there's a reason you can't find any gold or silver out there. There's a reason. And don't think it's because you're buying it. <laughs> Please. It's kind of like what we learned about uh, the uh, Wall Street Bets Reddit thing. Yeah, they bought they bought stock. They did. But the Wall Street guys bought a lot more. But they just wanted to they're they're gonna figure out a way to block us from coming together. Don't worry. Censorship is here. And it's fascinating that half the country applauds it. I think it's great. You know, and I was talking, you know, telling you about the, the these ten dollar lips. And you're like, well, you know, come on, double. That was like over 100 years ago. Okay. 1971. That $10 Liberty Gold piece was worth $20. So you had a $10 bill, still worth 10 bucks. Right? And 70 but 60, I'm going to try and do, I know, it's Friday. 64 years later, 1907 was the last year this coin was minted. In the 64 years from uh, 1907 to 1971, it doubled. Now think what it's done in the last 50 years. $10 bill still worth $10. Just doesn't buy anything. That ten dollar Liberty that was worth ten dollars in nineteen oh seven, and it was really actually worth ten dollars all the way to nineteen thirty three, when they took the gold away. So, but anyhow, by nineteen seventy one, it actually was worth twenty one dollars. Gold was forty two bucks, twenty one dollars. Now today. I'm selling them for one thousand eighty-five, and think about it. Our debt was four hundred billion dollars in nineteen seventy-one. Two hundred fifty billion of that was from World War II, and most people don't realize. Do you know that we ran as many government surpluses as we did deficits, almost identical uh, after World War II ended? I mean, we really did. This whole debt thing is new. After they closed the gold window. Now think about what just happened last year. They told us that we ran a 3.1 or 3.2 trillion dollar deficit. It was really 4.5. This year, what's the number going to be? Five trillion, six trillion, seven trillion? I don't know. How about the year after that and the year after that? What happens to Social Security in 2025? What happens to Medicare, I think, 2022? What happens to the price of energy when Biden's Green New Deal? What happens to the price of everything? as they print money to oblivion. Everything does what this $10 gold piece does. How about a car? Okay, you don't want to talk about gold, let's talk about car. 
What was I mean? A like a Corvette was what I don't know three grand in nineteen seventy one. I don't know what a Corvette it cost today. Hundred plus. I mean, right? A house twenty six thousand dollars. It's a house today five hundred grand. And and we're entering warp speed now, right? The printing presses aren't going to stop. Make sure you have things that aren't in the system. Because we I don't know when. We know a crash is coming. It's coming. We know. Make sure you're ready before it happens. Uh, $10 liberties, 1085 Two tens today is $30 less than a 20 That's awesome. It's awesome. Right, it would have been better, right? The 20s, buy them yesterday, right? When gold was down, would have been great, but gold, gold's on its way back. Of course, that spot, nobody cares anymore. I shouldn't even give you the spot price anymore. Silver, let's talk about silver. Here's what we've got. I've got a bag and a half of half dollars. They're now two eighty a roll or $28,000 for the bag. And again, cheapest in the country that I can find. I don't, you know, I don't know everybody, but it, it is. The, the quarters and the dimes is still the same price. Bag of quarters, twenty-seven thousand or two seventy a roll. The dimes are one hundred and thirty-five a roll. I don't have. I I do have some quarters. I have very little dimes. I got very little half dollars. But that's what's out there. 800-951-0592. Final segment coming up. 800-951-0592. You know, these $10 liberties, they're probably going to be worth 5000 before the next, before this Biden administration is done. I mean, that's just what I think. These, It's, it's incredible what they're planning on doing. Uh, and how much money they're planning on spending, and everything's just going to be a fortune. Just get ready. 800-951-0592, U.S. $10 liberties at 1085 uh, Half dollars, I got, you know, like I said, I've got half dollars back on the website as well. They're 280 a roll. That's up five bucks a roll. And silver's, you know, $27. What happened yesterday and silver's gone today, right? Silver's back where it was yesterday. And half dollars are up, uh, quarters and dimes. I don't have that many dimes. Uh, do have uh, about a bag and a half of quarters as well. Uh, they're 27000 for the bag or 270 a roll on the quarters, 135 on the dimes at 800 uh, here at, in Arizona. Huge shipping day uh, today. All you people that had uh, rolls of dimes, quarters, half dollars. Uh, I don't think we can bring. We're going to do our best to get them all out. This is like metals plan. This is how how many boxes we're talking about. We probably uh, we're going to try to ship out a hundred boxes today. I got Sarah coming in, Brooke, Wendy, Arlene, or, or uh, not Wendy, uh, Brittany. And we're, we're all going to the post office. Get them all out there for you. Uh, 800-951-0592 is our toll-free number. Uh, it's been just absolutely incredible. And I did Monday, listen, on Monday, and hopefully I'll remember, two big announcements out of China. I'll go real quick. China's reached a deal with SWIFT. SWIFT is the clearinghouse house for country-to-country -country trading about their digital currency, a huge move. And then China now has changed the rules for foreign banks. Foreign banks now are being forced to lend in renminbi. So a lot of foreign banks, like J.P. Morgan, used to do loans in China but do them in dollars. China today massively restricting all foreign banks from loaning in something other than renembis. Here we go. This is another leg. Listen, 
And China just keeps adding and adding and adding. And, of course, this is going to increase uh, China's share as the reserve currency. And, and obviously, you know, we're, we're like, okay, who's going to take the biggest hit? Well, obviously the U.S. dollar. Right? Uh, it's going to be at the expense of the dollar. Uh, so we got a lot going on today, 800-951-0592. But the, without a doubt, the biggest news uh, happened in the Senate while we were asleep. Uh, the Republicans uh, got shut out. 50-50 deadlock, dead, deadlock. Kamala Harris cast the votes to give the uh, the Democrats the reconciliation they need to pass the $1.9 trillion stimulus and gave the, de uh, the Republicans nothing. So much for unity. 800-951-0592. God bless everybody. Uh, we'll see what happens over the...